Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my best sunscreens of 2023. Part one, it's really been a year of sunscreen for me, so I do have to make this two separate videos. Today's video is going to be the best K-beauty sunscreens, and then I will have a second video later on, including some more J-beauty, some Western mineral sunscreens. Hopefully I'll have something for everyone between the two videos. Now I wanna make something clear before I get into this video. This is not going to be a series where I'm hoping to talk you into buying 10 different sunscreens, 15, so it, we'll, we'll get there. We have a lot of chatting to do in this video, so hopefully you'll see what I'm trying to accomplish in sharing so many different options. But yeah, that really is my point, just to share a bunch of options with you, like Wall Street bets, I think. Maybe, you're out of your element, Donnie. As always, we have timestamps and links in the description box below if you would like to jump around. And in today's video, I do want to disclose, since we're ultimately going to be showing 10 sunscreens, but five favorites. Most of these I did buy with my own money. Others were gifted via YesStyle or StyleVana, both of whom I do have discount codes for that I will put up on the screen if you would like to get an additional discount at either of those retailers. Let's go ahead and dive right in, and I want to start this video with the best overall. So for me, the best overall has been the Dr. G Red Blemish Soothing Sun Up Cream, SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. I should mention before we go further, every sunscreen in this video is indeed SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. This sunscreen is sort of new to my collection. You will understand what I'm saying there in just a moment. It's newish, but it blew me away. We are talking about a sunscreen that has no white cast whatsoever. You don't see any of those mineral filters nor Tenosorb S in this formula. So no white cast, it is lightweight, and yet moisturizing. It is a formula that is so fast to apply, it takes maybe 20 seconds. Now I do recommend that you take some time after your skincare and before makeup so that you can get an even layer of this, but it's so fast. And to think I used to take, not that I timed this or anything, except I did, four to five minutes to apply a mineral sunscreen. Every day, I did that every day. Don't do the math, I don't wanna know. See, they say, if you can't tell from the name, that this is designed for blemish-prone skin. But it's not a drying formula for acne-prone skin. No, it is moisturizing. It is perfect for my dry and acne-prone skin type. But this is where I wanna have a chat, a conversation about what is actually going on in this formula. I mean, take a look at the filters that are used in this product. You are gonna see those exact same filters in quite a few other sunscreens because a lot of sunscreens are using the same base formula, the same filters. What's going on here is that there are different manufacturers of sunscreen and they all use similar, let's call them recipes for their sunscreens. So what happens is those same filters are carried over into another product except that brand tells the manufacturer, hey, we wanna switch things up, you know, for example, a new acid, heart leaf is our thing. Make sure our sunscreen has a lot of heart leaf. P. Calm said, our thing is calming skin. Make sure you include some ceramide ingredients. But the base formula is the same. And because of that, you have a lot of different options. I will go ahead and put up on the screen the sunscreens that I found in my collection that seem to have this same base formula with some differences. You know, in showing you that picture, I like some of those more than others. And yet I would say all of those are very good sunscreens because they all share these characteristics of this lightweight but moisturizing formula that blends into your skin quickly with no white cast. So the whole point of this conversation is to say, this one is my favorite of these six different sunscreens because I feel like it targets my dry and acne concerns. But you may end up having a different favorite here, and yet if you like the base formula as well, you might find all of these to be good options. 
And see, when you're armed with this kind of knowledge, now you have a situation where you aren't stuck with only one sunscreen that you love. You know, not stuck in this case of what happens if my favorite sunscreen is out of stock. You can just pick another that is similar, or you can shop for the one that is the best deal. This is why being knowledgeable about what's going on in the industry can really help you as a customer. If this still isn't making sense, because I really want it to make sense, I want to share with you my salad analogy. Sunscreen is like salad. They're both healthy for you. And salads often come with the same base. You could have a base of romaine. You could have a base of spring mix. But you're going to notice that two different salads with the same base still taste completely different. They both satisfy that need to consume a salad, but they're not the exact same. The toppings are different. The toppings have changed and therefore the entire salad is a completely different salad with the same base. So this new formula with Tinnisorb S, with the Parsol SLX filters, this is all a variant of one type of salad. And if you're familiar with the old Skin 1004 sunscreen, that is a different salad base. Spring mix and romaine. Does this help? I really hope it does. Anyway, yes, my favorite is the Dr. G, and of course it is. I've talked a lot about how well I do with those Sika Actives that are contained in this formula. It is a perfect formula for my dry, acne-prone, sensitive skin. The next sunscreen I want to cover is one that I'm calling my favorite restoring sunscreen. And this has been on my list for a long time at this point, the Purito Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen. This one really stood out to me the first time I tried it because I always felt like sunscreen is something where you don't see immediate benefits from it. You use sunscreen for the long game. But my opinion changed immediately upon using this because I feel like this is one of very few sunscreens where using this makes my skin better by the evening. And again, I think that looking at the ingredients list kind of gives us insight as to why. This is a formula that is using ceramides. It is a little bit of a different formula from that first grouping of sunscreens we talked about. So this one does both take a little longer to apply and it also applies a bit unusually. You'll notice in my clip that I like to use the first finger application on the top of my face, then I come in with my second finger application on the bottom of my face because this one strangely kind of dries down quickly and yet stays a bit more moist on your skin, again compared to that first category. But I always feel like there is something to that sensation itself. That is a healing sensation, if you will, for my skin. So I'm not surprised that I do have a different sunscreen preference for when I need some recovery. I will honestly say I think this one is a little bit higher on the shine factor in your skin, which I know is something that some people are looking to avoid in sunscreens. I'm just going to give you a pro tip go with J Beauty. Don't get me wrong, I love my K Beauty sunscreens, but I feel like they all have a little bit of a shine factor to them. But I am really pleased with this formulation. I do think it is a bit different from others on the market. Again, you could feel free to explore the Pecom that I talked about in the first category. There's another option, but it's something about the way this one sits on my skin that I think holds an extra appeal for me personally. Let's talk next about my favorite stick sunscreen. I've talked a lot about how stick sunscreens are my preference for reapplication. And for this category, my favorite hasn't changed. It's been my favorite for, I think, well over a year. It is still the Eason Tree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick. See, the reason I like this is because as somebody who already has dry skin, if I am wearing makeup, oh, the last thing I like is a sunscreen stick that tugs on my skin. Not an enjoyable sensation for me, and too many of them tug. This one has excellent glidey property. Glidey properties? Yeah, no, you, you get that. 
And the shape of this is perfect for getting all around your eye area, around your nose area, just an ideal shape for me personally. Combine it with the ability to glide well, to not be too over the top in shine, which is interesting because I do think their regular sunscreen is one of the most shiny options. All of that makes this a long running favorite for me. Now I finally have the new packaging of this. My next category is best for sweating, and for this, we are going back to a favorite from my waterproof video, except with this one, I would say this is more of a water-resistant sunscreen. Overall, I do feel, and again, you're going to see this in part two, I do feel that J Beauty is the perfect way to go if you are looking for a waterproof sunscreen. Whereas this is great for still feeling lightweight, but having a little bit more of a hold to your skin. This to me is a really nice in-between. Again, I don't think this is for diving into a pool, but I do think this is a great choice for people who are looking for a sunscreen that's gonna stay through a sweaty day. This is also alcohol free. It is pretty close to fragrance free. It does include an essential oil, Artemisia essential oil, but it doesn't have a lot of smell to it. It's just, again, it's very similar to most of our other K-Beauty sunscreens with a little bit more adherence to your skin. And my very last sunscreen for this video has to be my biggest surprise. My biggest surprise of 2023 the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. Yes, the sunscreen that released to a lot of controversy. This is because Beauty of Joseon went in the direction of including both alcohol and fragrance into their product, which they just had not done anything like this in ages. They actually did used to have scented products if you go back far enough, but they, they switched to a fragrance-free direction, and I think people were very surprised by it. I'm even more surprised to have actually tried this, though, because to me, it doesn't really have much of a scent. It instead seems that they truly are, as they claimed, using those fragrance ingredients, those essential oil ingredients in this case, to help mask the smell of the filters themselves. And what they ended up with is the most clear sunscreen out of all five in this video, out of all 10 in this video. It truly does apply like a gel. And what I'm calling this is my favorite sunscreen to use as a primer because it's such an interesting and different formula from everything else. It really does apply like nothing. It is so fast to apply. If this sunscreen is a Ford Mustang, this is a Lamborghini Diablo. I got help with that analogy, yes. Just so fast, and I feel the reason it works so well under makeup is that as I sit in our first sunscreen, I do think it is smart to take time after your skincare application and before your makeup, but you don't need to take as much time with this, and I think this is partially because of the denatured alcohol in this product. It helps it to dry up faster. And yet it still has a bit of a, a moist, primer-like sensation on your skin that just makes it so perfect for under makeup. That's the sunscreen that I am wearing today, just a dream to apply makeup on top of. Now again, I'm not trying to talk anyone into buying products that you're not interested in. If you are avoiding alcohol and fragrance in your sunscreens, no need to buy this. Frankly, every sunscreen I've talked about in this video is nice under makeup. I think that why I'm saying this is my standout here is because of that speed aspect. I don't always have a lot of time to do makeup in the mornings, and choosing this as my sunscreen for those rushed mornings, that is perfection to me. It is the way to go, and that is why I'm saying this is my favorite sunscreen primer. And my friends, that brings us to the end of part one, my best K-beauty sunscreens. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about our whole conversation around these similarities and filters. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the rest of our best skincare of 2023. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you all next time.